Got a doorknob going on an F428T with a chute release and an altimeter. Chute release at 500 feet, 400 feet. Should be a good flight. Doorknob going up in five, four, three, two, one. to tilt the rod but good thing it has a shoot release on it hazards of launching out here in the desert wow I need a bigger chute. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Yeah, this guy hammered. Okay, just that piece. So if the other one's bent. All right, looks like I'm gonna put a couple new fins on this thing. After looking at the launch video of my doorknob, I thought I'd make a little video about how I repaired it. And we'll look at a little bit more of the damage from the launch video. This is the doorknob on the pad, and this is what it looked like off the pad. I just took some screenshots from the video, and you can see it hit really hard. And that's because of, I used the Pro Series 2 chute that came with the doorknob, which was not enough chute. I've launched this before. The chute's never really been that effective. Uh, this did it, though. I'm, I will uh, be changing out the chute on this thing with this repair. But just to show a little bit of this damage and how hard it hit the gravel out here in the middle of the desert in the blowing dust area, it cracked it good. Two fins were gone and had to be dug out. And these are through the wall fins, so you know, they're all the way epoxied to the engine mount on the inside of that thing and this was the uh, shot that I took back at launch base so here is back in my workshop I drummled out the after I took out all the fins I drummled out the holes all the way down to the engine mount and cleared out as much of that stuff as I could and decided I was going to repaint the whole thing except for the blue panel that you can see on the side there that I masked off but all the rest of the body was getting a new paint job I also ended up painting the nose cone again I actually just sanded it down a bit and reapplied some more blue paint um, this is just to show before with the two fins that are in place that survived and then I had another doorknob kit that I've been building with wood fins so I took the balsa fins from the old kit and put them on this for the repair since I used balsa fins on the original kit and just showing a little bit of the work after I've gotten them on and epoxied them on and uh, I took some pictures just to make sure I had everything lined up masked off epoxied ready to paint nice coat of primer blue paint all around one of the fins I masked off and painted black like that and then ultimately put the silver tape back on so it looks good as new so time to uh, launch this thing and see how it flies after the repair my repaired doorknob going up on an F50 at Tempa, gonna use a shoot release, but it was shoot release broke, so it's a pretty calm day. Hopefully, it'll just come right back down. First flight after repairs. No, on no shoot release. Nice. Got continuity. Range and sky are clear.
clear. This is pad F1 going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. <laughs> that thing got up and out of there. Okay, we went to 1174 feet. Just getting too cutesy pie with all the Kevlar and everything. Put a 24 inch chute on here this time so it wouldn't just get destroyed and it, that worked. Definitely in the dirt as usual out here in the desert, but the fins are good. So good-ish flight.